Hey, welcome back. In this video, I just want to introduce the idea of bearing stress. So where we have connections, like in this case, we have a rod that's passing through a block and there would be a hole drilled in this block that is, uh, I guess, 20 millimeters in diameter. Um, when we apply a force to a pin like this, it basically transmits that force into the block as a as a stress and uh, and we call that a bearing stress that's uh, that's exerted on the contact surface between these two members. So if you imagine uh, the cutout that looks like this, basically we have to uh, we have to transmit 20 kilonewtons of force into some area into this uh, area here, and it's actually really complicated if we tried to figure out. Uh, the actual interaction of the surface because it's curved. Uh, so what we do in practice is we typically just assume that the entire force is being transmitted onto a, like a rectangular projection of the rod onto the block. So in this case we would have 20 kilonewtons pressing on it and the area of this block is 15 millimeters by 20 millimeters. So the way that we write our bearing stress is uh, it is sort of normal to this rectangular surface so we use lowercase sigma and we denote it with a lowercase b, so this is our uh, bearing stress, and this is just equal to our applied force, let's call it p, over the area of this rectangle that we're dealing with, this projection of the rod onto the block. Uh, and so in this case, we actually have p, and its dimensions are t times d, right? t is the width, and d is the diameter of, uh, t is the width of the block, and d is the diameter of the rod. So we just get this as equal to 20 kilonewtons over, uh, we have 15 millimeters times 20 millimeters. And, uh, and this works out to be 0 0.0667 kilonewtons per millimeter squared. And uh, let's actually give ourselves some more space and move this over. And uh, so that's going to, uh, if we just multiply this by 1,000, this is the way that I like to do it. So we'll get 66.67 or 66.7 newtons per millimeter squared. And uh, if you remember from previous videos, newtons per millimeter squared is the same units as megapascals. So we have uh, 66.7 megapascals of a uh, of a bearing stress uh, that this rod is exerting onto this block. 